I really thought this would be something fun to explore. I have seen so many YouTube videos and, and I remember the days when I was younger as well. Different videos of young men, I would say, under 20, over 20, talking about what they find attractive in women or more specifically, sometimes what they like to see women wearing and what they find attractive. And of course, there's the same things out there with women making, or young ladies making those comments as well. And it got me wondering, what we find attractive, say in our teens, or our 20s, or 30s, it evolves. Some things never change. There, you know, if you have a certain type you like, but what I'm specifically talking about is clothing. So I'm like, you know, I just really don't see any YouTube videos about people 40 and up saying, this is what I really find attractive when women wear this or that. The false eyelash extensions necessary and, you know, the grave digger nails, <laughs> the coffin nails. And I love having my nails done. How much has changed? And of course, it still is going to vary from person to person. Everybody has their own opinions. And this is a video that I thought, well, okay. What, I wonder, does my... And we've known each other since high school, but, and we dated five years or so. We had a, like a Ross and Rachel. We were on a break, had time apart, decided to give it another shot. We're like, okay, yeah, we're meant to be. But I decided, hmm, I, the way I dress may be very differently than how other women dress. If I'm not in scrubs, I'm usually in yoga or exercise clothes. I do love to dress up, but we, with the quarantine, have not had the availability of doing that. And so I just sort of ran through a montage of the things that I love wearing the most because I think whatever makes you feel good in your own skin, you know, it just, regardless of whether it's a black t-shirt and a pair of jeans, if it makes you feel good, then that inner beauty comes out even more. Your shoulders are held back, you're proud, you know, not in a bad way, but I mean, you are very comfortable in your body. And I think really that's what it comes down to for men and women. You want to see someone who, even if say they have oil underneath their nails because of their job or been working on the car or, you know, Dane t-shirt. I can find that just as attractive as when he's all dressed up. And so, you know, I'm watching. <laughs> it's funny because it seemed like I kept running across more and more younger men making these types of videos. What I think is attractive on women, that type of thing. But I would love to have both women and men's opinion 
on this, please put in the comments, do you find the things that you found attractive in the opposite sex or who you're attracted to the same as when you were a teenager or has it evolved with time? And why has it evolved? I think it would be a great discussion and let's be courteous with one another. We, we want to have fun with this. And something else is I am coming up with like a movie series type of thing. A little something to have fun with. Movies that make me cry. Maybe a top 10 of movies that always make me cry regardless of how many times I've seen them. Uh, my favorite scary movies, movies that have made a huge impact on my life, like really changed my thought process in my life, you know, affected my soul and my heart. And I would just love to just hear everyone else's suggestions with those. I want to have fun with the playlist. So here's the clothes that I wear all the time. And I'm throwing in a few things that I don't wear. Like I said, it's to be, have fun, have a time of escape, but please comment. Do you find things attractive? The same types of clothing or whatever it may be, the way they wear their hair or, or whatever. That ha does hair lint has that changed that could like really change for women some women you know just love guys with long hair and I tell you what I was in high school in the 80s and that was the hair band time and men had long hair and we found it attractive I've always found hair attractive on men but it's funny because I can, it just really depends on the personality. I think it's sexy too when guys shave their heads, you know. I, I can think of quite a few men that I thought were just incredibly attractive, you know, with shaved heads or, you know, they're starting to bald a little bit and um, you, got, you guys will laugh at me. Uh, but you know, be straight up honest, you know, I grew up just having this thing for Scott Bayo and Leif Garrett and I always loved Matt Dillon and they, you know, even though when the Thornbirds came out and I was in junior high, I still found Richard Chamberlain as a priest, a very good looking man. And it's so funny because I'm watching this mini series with my mom and she's like, I've loved Richard Chamberlain forever. It is so funny to sit here with my daughter and hear her say the same thing. But it's like, yeah, I could look at Patrick Stewart on Star Trek Generation and be like, yeah. But maybe when I was younger, I don't know, like I said, I found Richard Chamberlain good looking. But for the most part, you know, I think probably for the most part, the guy I crushed on the most that was oldest was like Patrick Swayze. Rick Springfield. So, yeah. But then it took me getting into my 20s and 30s and whatnot before I, I changed to where I was like, okay, age becomes less of a thing. But please, please, I would love your comments. Guys, let's get this community going. God bless you today and all your tomorrows. Show me what you think about my outfit changes. They're coming up.
Now, I have to say, this is probably my most famous look, wearing yoga clothes, and of course, Todd would probably love it if I stayed in yoga clothes all the time, but it's just comfortable, you can work out, you can go straight into house cleaning, you know, you can sleep in it, it's just so comfortable, but yep, it's like, you want to pick up your weights, and you can just go ahead and work out. Of course, with the lighting and all that in here, I've had to switch my studio stuff, but I did it just for you guys. But yeah, it's awesome. And of course, I know, when you're wearing your man's favorite collegiate basketball team shirt, along with the yoga pants, and oh, Converse. Yep. Favorite look. Of course, you can always switch it off with the yoga shorts and these. You know, if you're out at the gym, see the little shorts to me. I add some longer ones to it. But yeah. Man, I'll let you in too close. And you make the hubby happy. And he like beats that I wear it for him. And no, it's comfort and exercise. But hey, if it makes him happy, I'm happy. Let you in and fall. Now, you don't always have to cave in to wearing the basketball shirt. You can always go with one of your favorite rock bands. And so, you know, get cozy, put on your Deadpool socks. Yeah, and then you got a great comfy night wearing your just cozy favorite band and you know who doesn't love Ryan Reynolds right now this is the versatility of yoga pants because you can wear them totally rocking out you know let me show you with your cool studded belted goth boots, wear a pair of jeans. It's excellent, you know. Comfy, fashionable, in a very comfortable way. If you get cold, you put on one of your favorite sweatshirts. It goes cute with the little short jean shorts, um, tights, leggings. Again, good with the studded boots, with jeans, hair and piggy tails, whatever. I love my Harley Quinn shirt. Awesome. I mean, you always have the option of going with something that's like cutie patootie and the cute little skirt with it and some matching sandals and, or some little white bands just for those perfect sunny days when maybe you go walk on the beach or have a picnic and of course what guy doesn't love the uh, ponytail look with the frog hat? Of course, it can be a little messy looking, you know. Great for the beach. Admit that I'm afraid. It was great with the uh, athletic swimsuit look, or 
when you're out there There's no trying to show one another who can still outrun one another. I'm like, you're on the couch all the time. I'm looking out. I know I can outrun you. I need to fight, I know it's just so hard to let it go. Shine a light, I can see something I can't forget. And it's all my heart won't let it rest. But you keep on forgiving. That I'm afraid If I let go of this rage Am I Complacently betrayed Of course, don't forget The glitzy glamour Type of blouses That can be worn with flowy skirts Jeans Even with like right over a bathing suit. My personal favorite is wearing a guy's white button-down shirt that's a little long, and then just, you know, some cute little matching underwear with it, you know. But especially if it has his scent on it. Ah, and I'm loving it too. But it's hard. Why does it have any of those? <laughs> I don't think he owns a single one. Oh. Oh well. It might be on his list. It's funny because I hate wearing white. It's not appealing for me. But it would look good on him. His beautiful blue eyes. Of course, there's always those times when you just want a really surprising with a beautiful romantic look and you just go ahead and just throw on a pair of his oversized camouflage hunting gear whatever look how huge these things are you know this is sexy woo here baby take that gonna be telling me what's your favorite look for your woman for your mature woman there's one more it's just precious and guys this really is the best one of all you send him a few text messages let him know there might be some romance coming when he gets home, the lights are turned off, the candles are lit, and he finds you in the bedroom with your hair all askew and your cold cream or your mask or your super retinol. I mean, really, it's for him, right? I know one thing for sure. He wouldn't care about the lotion. He just wouldn't want it to get on the bed sheets. Comment below, guys. Tell me what you think. What's your best look? Your favorite look for your mature guy, your mature woman. And have a romantic night. Hope I gave you some great ideas.